Brian, buddy, hey, what's going on? Going? Good to see you, Good man. Good to see you. My pleasure. Hey, thank you for taking some time with me today. It's no problem. Um, we've talked a little bit via email, yeah. and uh, I've had a lot of fans, customers, whatever you want to call them, reach out to me on social and on YouTube, and they're hoping to demystify this setting right here. Yeah, take the, yeah, take the mystic part out of it. Yes. So what we do when, when we come in, we want to go out, we greet the customer, let them know who we are and that we're here to help them. Mm -hmm. When they decide on an RV, we're gonna go ahead and everything that they've negotiated, done out there in the sales department, we're gonna make sure that it's in paper right in front of them. Right. And whatever's on that paper is what they're gonna see when they come in to pick up the coach. We also explain their coach warranties to them, mm -hmm. make sure they understand those, and then the extended warranties that are offered, coatings, those types of things to make sure that their coach is protected and then make sure that they get the best rate possible. I got it. So you do a lot. You just explained a lot. So if you're if you're comfortable with it, I want to back up and I want to go piece by piece. Here. Okay. Okay. So in some of my videos that I've done, um, I'm I'm doing understand RV weights. So I to me now that I'm a year under my belt and mm -hmm. I've done this, one of the first things I want to know is what my tow vehicle is capable of before I ever get to the RV shop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the sales managers and the sales staff are already trained on that. So uh -huh. when you bring your truck in, they will go out there and take a look at it, even if you're unsure about some specifications on it. Oh, that's great. And they're going to make sure that you're set up before you ever choose that coach. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to let you leave with a coach that's way heavier than what you need for your truck. I thought it was great. Uh, we bought ours at uh, the Boat Sport and Travel Show, yeah. and uh, Nikki was our salesperson, right. and, and we didn't have our truck with us that day, and she asked for details of the truck, mm -hmm. and she's like, well, how much did you say it towed? And I told her, and she's like, are you double sure? So she did a really good job there. Um, but okay, so I walk in the door, and I have a decent understanding of what I'm looking for in a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, mm -hmm. and I know my weight limit. Now, explain to me this. I think one of the biggest questions is understanding what the loan is, because it's different from a car loan, mm -hmm. it's different from a house loan. What Can you explain a little bit about what these loans are? Sure, they're a recreational vehicle loan, so the rates tend to be a little bit higher than an auto loan, mm -hmm. but you also have longer terms, so we can still keep those payments low you are going to get uh, reductions um, from if you do long form taxes uh, from the interest you pay on that loan. Uh, the sales tax can be taken out as well on the state tax level that year. So you have some benefits um, for doing that. And we only do simple interest loans, um, so you can pay it off early, pay toward the principal balance anytime you want to. Oh, that's so fantastic. It's a style of loan. Does it? The rates is vary it? depending on. Sorry. No, no, you're uh, fine. You're the, the expert the, here. The rates vary depending on the uh, size of the loan as mm -hmm. well. Um, and if you have a 60 month loan, you're gonna get a better rate with us than if you go long term. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So when a person comes in, um, you had mentioned, you know, they're gonna start working for the sales staff. Do you come in uh, or can you, can the salesperson bring someone like you in to start answering finance questions before they really get locked in on an RV? Yeah, absolutely. I want, I want them to be uh, uh, prepared. Mm -hmm. So if they have a question, I'm happy to get in early, meet them, and answer any questions they have. If they have a ding in their credit and they want to know how that would affect them, I can to a certain degree, and then the bank has the final say. Ryan, I have a few questions that have come in from the Instagram account, so we're just going to hit these bad boys up, okay? Right. Somebody asked about the loan terms and financing. I feel like we covered that. Long terms. Um, yeah. Yep. Longer terms. And yep. Terms, yeah. Yep. Um, okay, here's something that people want to know. Uh, buying new as opposed to used. Uh, <clears throat> Off the top of your head, I know that, that that conversation could probably go on for a day. Right. But, you know, top level, new versus used, why, pros and cons. Pros and cons. Um, if you're getting a new product, you're going to get better terms. Um, if it's a really old coach, you, they're going to short, banks are going to shorten terms, and they're uh -huh. probably going to give a higher rate because of the risk of the product. That makes sense. Um, so it depends on how much you put down on both. Mm -hmm. It depends on your credit score. There's a lot of variables that go into to obtaining that, but if you're going to be trading in or 
um, if you just want uh, you know the best rate possible, new is probably going to be your way to go. So it's it's not exactly the same, but it's similar to new versus used with cars. Like it can be sometimes tougher to get a used car loan than it is a new car loan. Absolutely, and that has to do with the bank. Now, uh, warranty wise, obviously you're not going to have a manufacturer warranty on a used, but not only you guys, but is it industry standard to offer some type of a extended warranty that people can buy? Well, you're definitely going to be offered extended warranty to a certain point when we're talking about used product. Right. But Walnut Ridge is going to give you 90 days on used that are certified that go through our shop. Oh, that's great. Um, uh, can they drive away the same day they sign on the dotted line? Okay. The same day they'd sign on the dotted line, meaning the finance documentation. I would assume yeah, so. Yes, they would. And we also do the orientation that day. But here's the cadence to how that actually goes. Okay. When folks come in and they, they pick out a coach. Uh-huh. And we go through the paperwork and they're good with the numbers and uh, you know whatever, whatever else that we have. They're going to schedule a day with me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to then get the coach prepared for them. And we, we do it a little, you know, monotonously, so we're going to go through the coach yep. specifically, and it takes me a day. So That makes sense. So the day that they maybe decide on a coach is not going to be the day they pick it up, mm -hmm. but it's for their benefit only. It's to make sure that they get a quality coach that's been going through before they come in. That makes sense. Okay. I know when, when we bought detailed from you guys, it. yeah, we, we had it detailed, and then we were here the better part of a day doing the walkthrough and right. orientation. I mean, I was geeked out and I had my GoPro on so I could catch everything. That's funny. Folks will say, hey, I really, really enjoyed that orientation. Mm -hmm. And then some say it was way too long. Well, they've bought four coaches from us. We do the same orientation regardless because those folks that are brand new to camping that never done it before, gosh, they're so impressed. They're so excited. Oh, absolutely. They're so happy because we didn't just toss them the keys and, mm -hmm. and best of luck to you. Mm -hmm. you know? That makes total sense. We, we went through the coach with them. Okay, another question that we've had is uh, someone said, I can't tell you how many people when they buy a travel trailer do not realize they need to have insurance on it. Now that one seems like a no-brainer to me, but I've had some people confused with insurance. Really? And, and what it, you know, you well, know, just you know, hey, do I go through mine? Do you have do you have it at your dealership? Or uh, they get it confused with warranties. They have to provide insurance on the camper before they sign on the dotted line, just like an auto loan. So let me ask you this: When I buy a new coach, new travel trailer, fifth wheel, whatever I'm buying, and I need to do the insurance on it, wh wh how do I do that? What what steps yeah. go? Yeah. So we provide you with the documentation for your insurance company. You have your VIN, make, mm -hmm. model uh, of the coach. You do have. It, they do require the lien holder information. I get that to the customer. Mm -hmm. So they have uh, this whole package. They give to them. Uh, they give them comprehensive comprehensive and collision insurance and they get to choose the deductible and banks typically don't want more than a thousand dollars on that deductible just for you know your guys yeah that makes sense that makes sense okay now here's one I I don't understand a lot or I'm just gonna ask it okay we're, okay. we're friends here I'm just gonna ask it <laughs> this person says what about all of the BS hidden fees they're everywhere when you're buying campers yeah so the, the most important thing is that whatever I give a customer up front, uh, when, when I present paperwork to them, there's nothing in addition. Or whenever they negotiate a price out here with the sales department, they're not getting $1,000 tacked on when they come into my office. So we don't, uh, the, the misnomer is that they have, to per, they have to have those fees because okay. um, you know maybe there's some sort of stipulation. But basically it's the dealership's decision to charge a fee for doing work for a customer or not. So you're saying these fees, let's go back to this. The fees. So in some situations, I mean, it's important to read your documentation anyway. That's a give me. When right. you're doing financial documents, you should really read them over. Right. But what you're saying is, is I could be dealing with salesperson X, I'm just talking in general here. Okay. And then when I come back to the financing department, that number could be different due to at a different dealership. hidden fees? Yes, it's, you have documentation fees that they're gonna tack onto the purchase price of your coach. Okay. Then let's say that they do the PDI, like uh -huh. we do, we talked about PDI earlier. Yep. They're gonna charge you for that PDI. They're gonna charge you um, maybe for an additional titling fee for the title clerk to do her job and, and that's what we don't pass on to the customer 
still having so, a better value. Guys, I think if there's one thing that I can take out of this is, is one, you have to remember that you're, you're essentially in control. I mean, it's your money, it's your thing. When you're, when you're doing these things, you know, that's why hopefully in this video you'll realize I'm trying to not expose, but show you the inside mechanisms of this to give you the right questions to ask when you go in there. Absolutely. My belief is, is when I'm with the salesperson and I shake their hand and I've agreed upon a price, that's the price I want to pay. Price. Like, yeah. Now, that's not to say when I get in here with you and I start talking about extended warranties or coatings or whatever, but the price that I set to pay right. for my coach is what I want to pay for my is. coach. Yeah. We went off camera for a moment and then you started, oh, what about this? What about this? And, and you know what I realized that I did? I made a huge mistake. I assumed as the interviewer that I knew more than the interviewee. Oh. You're in this day in, day out. I mean, this is your life. Right. Did, what did I miss? What are some other things that you you think are important to arm a customer with before they ever step foot into a RV sales? Yes, yeah, they have questions on how, are they getting the best deal? Uh, what's the rate going to look like? What's uh -huh. the term going to look like? Um, what are my options? Uh -huh. You know, because that's what they want. They want to they want to see what their options are and choose from those options. And some folks think that their home equity line of credit is going to be the best way to go for. And then it varies. It's a variable rate, and it varies yep. over the course of the loan, and they keep the goods for 10 years, and they paid more than if they locked in a, a fixed rate. So some folks don't know that. I always like to let folks know that because that's a big question that comes up. Also, you know, I'm really comfortable with my credit union, or can you match their rate, or can you do this, can you do that? We're a large d dealership, largest fifth wheel dealer in the state. We, st we deal with 30 banks or more. Wow. So when we're talking about shopping and getting you the best rate, more than likely with our volume, we are. So we definitely want the opportunity, and two heads are always better than one. Absolutely. In, in, in searching for the best uh, option to finance a coach. So don't be locked in on assumptions when it comes to financing. Right. Because there might be things that you don't realize that are going to long-term affect that. And again, transparency, you can share that information. Exactly. With and so they can, add, they can feel free to ask that question when they come in here and not feel like they're getting false or, or uh, negative information. Gotcha. They're getting exactly what the banks are offering to the T, term and all. So when they're shopping and when they're saying, well, hey, my local credit union said they could get me X rate, um, but I can get X rate um, at you know a longer term and my payment's better, but I can still pay it off whenever I want to. I didn't even realize that that was an option. Right. And so we just want to educate and, hey, you have a lot of options here. You're not in this box. Yeah. You can, you can really step out and see what your options are, but you can if you never ask. Oh, that makes total some sense. people are afraid. The answer is always no if you don't ask. I mean, think exactly. of, you know. Okay. Exactly. So All right. find out your options. I realized that we didn't touch upon a minute ago. We kind of glanced over it, and it was my fault, was extended warranties. Right. So we talked about, you know, I really like that we covered your guys' no f hidden fee guarantee. Right. I've agreed upon a price when I'm sitting out there. Right. I've now come back with you. Now, that's not to say that we've landed on a final price because... We have extended warranties. We have protection, coatings, plans. We have a lot to go yeah, through. Sure, sure. Can we talk about extended warranties in a general sense? I know that, the, right. that different RV places are going to do them differently. They, they are. <coughs> Excuse me. There's going to be different terms offered and different coverages. Okay. So it's important to know what style of coverage bet is going to best suit you. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be exclusionary where they list the exclusions up front. And depending on how many exclusions there are is the, the worth of the program. That makes okay. sense. Yep. Um, when you're coming in here and we're going through those options, we're basically taking up where the manufacturer left off. There's limitations from the manufacturer's warranties, even though they're excellent on, on most accounts, yep. if not all accounts. Um, but there are complaints from customers on, well, this wasn't covered, or man, my coach just doesn't look the same two years down the road, mm -hmm. or I had trade, maybe I had some negative equity, I got in a, an accident, and now I owe the bank six grand. How did how did that occur? Yep. So all those things are explained, and we're just picking up where that manufacturer left off, especially if they're going to keep their coach and enjoy it for a long time. They want to pull up. 
They want it to look perfect. If oh, they, absolutely. If they have a bad situation in the middle of a, uh, you know, a, a, a you know, fun time, mm-hmm. they don't want the, uh, you know, the the issue to be theirs. They want to be able to have some, hand it off, have someone take care of them, uh, being reimbursed for hotels, etc., and, mm-hmm. and not have to worry about that. And enjoy that special time with their family. Absolutely. Which is the point of the whole thing, yeah. anyway. So, um, yes, you're not going to have any hidden fees. We're going to explain what your options are for terms of service contracts, and they're going to vary. We offer five and six year terms mm-hmm. um, for service contracts, uh, five years for coatings, five, uh, eight, you know, seven years for gap. So, mm-hmm. any of those things that are covered, tire wheels, five years, we give them all up front what the terms are, uh, what the cost is, whether it's associated with your. Uh, cash purchase if you're a cash buyer or how it's going to reflect in your monthly payment uh, so that we can be as transparent as possible. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back. A central theme here, I, I think we're covering a lot of the questions that I've been asked and that I see. And then, you know, I tried to I tried to get in a time machine and go back a year ago when I bought, like what were the questions I had. But I cannot state enough. Take your time, ask the questions, and nothing, nothing should be hidden from that experience. No. Like he, it just it, it, ask the questions. Yes, yeah. What is my warranty for the manufacturer? Mm-hmm. What are the limitations? What do I have to do to maintain that warranty? There's some maintenances that you have that are required yeah. uh, for the most part to make sure that those are maintained. I'm up on my roof three times hey, a year, that's right? It. That's it, baby. You gotta make sure that you're up on the roof. Absolutely. And uh, they just wanna know what they're, what's offered to them and, and, what the, and if the price and the term are something that is standard. And I cannot thank you enough for doing this for me. This is, I, I, you know, I, I see this as kind of pulling the curtain back and showing the wizard behind the curtain, right. which you guys don't hide. No. Um, but I think that's fantastic. You know, this, well, think about it, when you're buying a car or anything else, this can be a scary department. Yeah. And you're not a scary guy, so well, I appreciate I that. I really you. appreciate it. Well, now listen, I, you're not off the hook with me, okay? We're gonna put we're gonna put this video together. We're gonna put it out there to the world. And if I get a lot of questions, comments, concerns, or if they just see you as a pretty face and they want you on more videos, I'm coming back and I'm holding the right to come back to you again. Okay? I don't blame them at all. Thank you.